Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. We all know that Trump slammed Canada when the U.S. introduced tariffs on Canadian steel and aluminum at the beginning of June after an amnesty period tied to the NAFTA talks expired. Now he threatened to impose tariffs of 25% on Canadian cars. It was part of his pushback against Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's assertion that Canada wouldn't be pushed around. Recently a Japanese farm ministry official said last Friday it has suspended its tender and sale of wheat from Canada after plants containing a genetically modified trait were discovered last summer in southern Alberta. What I don't understand is why did it take almost one year for the cease of all operations of wheat from Canada. Wouldn't this be an immediate thing since the wheat back then when this happened would of or could have been infected? The Canadian Food Inspection Agency said the wheat containing a genetically modified trait developed by Monsanto to tolerate the Roundup weed killer was discovered along an access road. Japan confirmed that they are suspending the tender and sale of Canadian wheat until they can confirm that the Canadian wheat that Japan buys contains no GMO. A contractor spraying for weeds along an access road last year informed local authorities that a few plants were not killed by Roundup herbicide. Tests found the plants were genetically modified to tolerate the weed killer. Canada is one of the world's largest wheat exporters. Japan is Canada's second largest global market for wheat. Taking $598 million worth in 2016 according to the federal government's website. By comparison the entire value of Canada's dairy exports totaled $235 million in 2016 according to the Canadian Dairy Information Centre. Japan is one of the top importers of Canadian wheat at around 1.5 million tons a year and tends to buy the highest quality grain at premium prices. And South Korea imports around 235,000 tons a year. While other crops such as corn and soybeans have been widely genetically modified to improve yield or withstand threats. GMO wheat has not been approved anywhere for commercial production because of concerns by consumers. And now as of recently South Korea suspends wheat and flour sales from Canada over the GMO plants found in Alberta. It's standard protocol in both countries to temporarily close markets in such cases. The government of Canada is working with foreign trading partners to ensure they have all the necessary information to make informed decisions and limit market disruption. There have been no indications so far that the European Union and China would be making similar moves, but likely will since this is a standard protocol for most countries. Genetically modified wheat is not allowed to be grown commercially anywhere. Tests have concluded the wheat did not make its way into the food supply and was isolated to a few plants in the ditch where they were found. Health Canada said there are no safety risks. The CFIA said the genetically modified plants in Alberta were not a match for any of the 450 registered wheat varieties in its database. It confirmed the Alberta sample was a match for a genetically modified wheat line used in research field trials two decades ago in Canada and the United States. U.S. agriculture company Monsanto Company did the tests between 1998 and 2000 on fewer than 2 hectares in Canada, making up 0.1% of total Canadian wheat plantings at the time. The trials were about 300 kilometers or more away from where the modified plants were found in Alberta, given the passage of time and large distances involved. There is no evidence that would explain how or if the current GMO wheat finding is linked with a previous trial the CFIA said in the incident report. In 2013 several Asian countries temporarily banned U.S. wheat imports after genetically modified wheat was found unexpectedly in a field on an Oregon farm.
The wheat found in Alberta was not a genetic match to plants involved in any U.S. cases, the CFIA report said. Japanese scientists are en route to Alberta, and the Alberta Wheat Commission says he is not concerned that the actions taken by Japan and South Korea might set off a domino effect. Although the U.S. is also a premium market and don't have any indication they're going to stop exports from Canada but like stated before, this usually is a standard protocol. And once Trump catches wind of this he will likely ban exports of wheat from Canada. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.